Okay, today I'm going to be talking about forgiveness and walking, walking your your forgiveness out. And uh, Mark eleven twenty five and twenty six it says, and whatever you stand, whenever you stand praying, if you have anything against anyone, forgive them, that your Father which is in heaven may forgive you your trespasses. But if you do not forgive, neither will your Father in heaven forgive you your trespasses. The enemy is going to create scenarios in your life that will draw people to your life to cause scenarios where you're going to get angry at that person and you're going to have unforgiveness for that person when really it's the spirits inside of them. They're trying to distract you because they're going to the lake of fire and they want they want to inhabit you because they want to make you stumble because they're going to the lake of fire and they want you to get your mind off of evangelism and stuff like that so remember if you don't forgive man their trespasses your heavenly father will not forgive you that's why it's so hard for the children of God to get deliverance sometimes because they have unforgiveness. Uh, the enemy cannot win. They already know that. They're already going to the lake of fire. So they want to bother us because we're already we're already forgiven. And, and we're already we have eternal life. But if you're holding something against somebody, you're actually putting yourself in prison. And um, if you forgive somebody, it locks you from them. It unlocks you from them, and it gives that case to God. And you remember the Bible says he's going to go and fight for us. Then God hands it over to the courts of heaven. And then that person is in big, big trouble. So, remember, the thief comes to kill, steal, and destroy. But Jesus came to give us life and to have it more abundantly. So you can move mountains, you guys, if you don't, if you forgive everybody, this is my work shirt, you can move mountains if you forgive everybody. I'll give you an example real quick. Um, one time I was pouring some concrete for my neighbor out in the concrete area, the driveway of my parking lot here, and the neighbor upstairs, he told my landlord that I put concrete mud on his bumper and I didn't, of course, his truck was like eight feet from where I'm working. And so rather than get upset at him for, you know, trying to get me in trouble, because see, here's the thing, his demons did not like me. So rather than me get upset at him, I gave it to the Lord. I'm like, Lord, this is all, you know, you, you know, um, I give it to you. And because I didn't get upset with him, God handed that court case that I would, if I would have been upset towards him, I'd have that court case with me and I'd be holding on to it. And God can't do anything. I got unforgiveness. But I let it go. I let God take it. And then God took that court case to the uh, courts, of, courts of heaven. And then my lawyer, Jesus Christ, took care of it. Now, I'm not kidding you guys, for the next month, he was out working on his car every day. It seemed like every day was something was happening to his car. It's because the Bible says don't mess with God's anointed. And when you're holding on to unforgiveness, you're holding on to that court case. So you can you can let, let them go or it's going to eat you like a cancer. And it will give you cancer and arthritis eventually. Unforgiveness is very, very important that you just let it go. Let go and give it to God. He... He is our, the ultimate judge, and there's a whole court system up there. When somebody messes with you, you know that it's the demons inside of them. It's not them. It's the demons, because they know they only have a short time. Keep looking up, you guys.